What's going on guys? It's Byron at ETA Wheels. Alright, so we're back and uh, as you can see, these little trim pieces here on both sides are popping up. Now when I had the car wrapped, this is actually the rear, this is actually the front, and this side goes on that side, and that side goes on this side. So we're going to go ahead and fix that. Basically, this is nothing more than just some tape. As you can see, I've tried to fix it several times. It hasn't gone so well. Well, we're going to do this properly. Anyway, I'm just going to very carefully pry up. You just want to lightly break the bond of the adhesive without destroying it too much and I'm gonna need both hands so I'll be right back but you get the concept all right so came out pretty easy as you can see we're gonna have to get all this tape out and we're gonna clean it with good old isopropyl alcohol and a shop towel and we're gonna reapply this is the 3m uh, extreme mounting tape so as you can see they used the gray stuff here and it didn't work out so good so we're going to go ahead and do this properly i'll be right back once i get it all removed and cleaned up so just wanted to show you guys something here I'm trying to do this one-handed but there's a proper way to peel off stickers and uh, like this uh, tape here and I want to show you most people want to try to yank it like that and sometimes that works but mostly it doesn't the proper way is to peel it at an angle so that you remove more of it and you leave less residue behind now if this is the actual by the book method or whatever I don't know this is just what life experience has taught me and this is how I learned to do it and as you can see it makes fairly quick work of the task at hand so now after I get all of the rest of this uh, tape here off I'm gonna go ahead and do the same to the other side remember now this is the front this is the back. It's a very subtle difference, but it is there. And this actually goes on that side of the car. And again, it's very subtle. It's very easy to get wrong. So if you've got a CTS or a CTSV, I'm going to highly recommend that you, uh, if you peel these off, that you uh, do a test fit so that you can have. You, you can not screw it up. It's even better if you mark it before you pull them off to begin with. Um, this is metal, it's not plastic, so it is going to bend slightly. The, the key is to do it in such a way that you minimize it. And when you put it back in, you're going to be putting pressure and rolling it all the way back along the crevice here along the line so that you can keep it relatively flat so now what we're going to be doing uh, after I get this tape off and I get the other side uh, corrected we're gonna take a nylon brush and brush all this dust out we're gonna get this as clean as humanly possible and then we're gonna do a wipe with isopropyl alcohol I feel that proper uh, labeling needs to be addressed. If you're going to take something out of the original container and put it into a secondary container, such as this, what you're going to want to do is one, make sure the plastic is rated to hold whatever it is you're putting in there. In this case, it is. Second, label it, dude. It's not hard. You do the same thing at work, you do the same thing at home. Anyway, that's your safety tip. I'm going to get back to it, and I'll be back in a few minutes.
All right, so went ahead and removed it and I just dropped this in and instantly you can see how much better this fits. Now, I've still got to bend this rail a bit uh, to get it a little flatter, but I just want to show you guys. You can see almost how perfectly this lays in and we're going to go over here to the other side. I'm going to show you as well. You can see here how much better this lays in. Now obviously I've got some bending to do as well and I've still got to clean off the junk because this is that side. But uh, you can see how much better it fits and how much better it lines up. So when they wrapped it they screwed me uh, pretty good on that. And it's something that's been bugging me for a while and I just decided, you know what, let's go ahead and get a video and show some people. So I'm gonna continue removing the rest of the tape from this piece here and from the uh, the channel over there. And then we'll, uh, we'll be back and I'll show you how I clean it. And then we'll uh, go ahead and do a final wipe down with isopropyl and lay some tape. All right, and we're back. So as you can see, all of the tape has been removed from here and here. And if we go over to the other side, you can see it's all removed here as well. And I just want to show you, if you pay attention, there's a slight curvature to this. And if you look, you can see how it just drops right in like it wants to be there. That's because this is the proper side and this is the proper direction. Okay, same with that one. Now I'm just gonna use a little bit of uh, soapy water and a spray bottle and a paintbrush just to get rid of this dirt. I'm gonna clean everything up with a shop towel and use an isopropyl wipe. So as you can see, just a quick paintbrush, a little bit of soapy water. Still got a little bit to go back in this area, but um, that's all there is to it. It's nothing fancy. I'll go over to the other side and I'll show you. So you can see how funky it really is. So you can just kind of see all that gunk and dirt built up in there. A little bit of tape residue in there too that I can't get out. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and get rid of that with the alcohol. But we'll show you here if I can get my phone I'm using as a flashlight right now to stand up. I'm just going to put a little spray. Paintbrush and just agitate everything back and forth. Now, this has a little bit of degreaser in it as well, so it's going to help to release that stubborn, stuck on tape. But just agitate. I have to add a little more, it's a little dry right here. So, just agitate, get it all out of there. And she'll clean right up. So, we'll be back in a few minutes. So, as you can see, it's now uh, degreased, soapy watered. All the dirt that's going to come out of there has come out. Now we're just going to wipe it with some isopropyl alcohol and lay the layer, base layer of tape. Then we're going to peel it and stick the top down. Nice and easy. So this is the tape that I'm using. Uh, don't worry, I've got another roll because this is going to do pretty much just this side. So we're going to start laying the tape here. I've degreased all of this already with the alcohol, let it all dry out, and we're going to leave the backing in place. Then, because this is a pressure sensitive 
uh, tape. I'm just going to take my time. It's going to take about two or three minutes while I work it. All the way back, you're supposed to press in each area for, I think it's like uh, 30 seconds, something like that. So I'm going to take my time, work my way back. Obviously, I need both hands, and I don't have a tripod, and uh, you guys wouldn't really be able to see much anyway because it's kind of dark. But uh, I'm going to do my best, and tomorrow afternoon when I get home from work, I'll uh, take a video and show you how it's holding up. So I'm trying to do this one-handed right now. I'm laying it in. As you can see, the tape is in place, and we're just going to take our time, use pressure, takes three to five minutes so we're just going to move in sections from the front all the way to the back take your time line it up drop it in just like that and there it is so there's a little bit of tape that's sticking up here and I'm going to take care of that tomorrow morning when I can see a little better but as you can see I forced it in there fairly flat a couple little bulges here a little bit is here. Uh, I can't get that bend out, so I just went ahead and sent it. But this is now going to stay in place properly, and it's not going to pop up and bulge on me anymore. Now go ahead and move to the other side. Okay, so I got the tape laid in. As you can see, I'm just using a slow firm, even pressure with my fingers to seat the tape. And I'm actually going to be doing this back and forth from the front all the way to the back um, until the tape is fully seated. As you can see, I'm going to have some tape sticking up here as well that I'm going to deal with tomorrow when I have more light. But this is just kind of to show you maybe that, there we go, that's a little better. Just to kind of show you um, what's involved. It's nothing particularly fancy. I am not a bodywork guy. I am not a professional automotive body repair guy or anything like that. I'm just a motherfucker who can look at shit and figure it out. I'll show you, we can kind of peel some of the excess off right now, actually, it'll make my job tomorrow morning a little easier, tomorrow afternoon, I should say. I'll just kind of get a little bit of excess off, get as much of that excess off as possible. As you can see, this is some very extremely uh, sticky stuff and so when you're applying it you kind of have to get it exactly perfect or there's no do-over uh, which is why this is kind of going to be the way that it is but there's still more than enough tape where there needs to be tape all right so I'm going to go ahead and peel the red and uh the, the red is the backing, just in case you guys are curious, and lay down this uh, last piece, and I'm going to call it a call it a night. Show you what it looks like on the other side. I know the camera's probably going to black out right now. There's, it's actually getting really dark now. I'll show you. See how nice and flat that lays? Almost like it's supposed to be that way, huh? And just to show you how easy this is, I'm going to have to put the light down. But you just kind of work your bare finger over the side, and it'll kind of come right off. So it's not, a, it's not a huge task to get rid of that extra little bit of the tape there. So I may not even wait until tomorrow afternoon. I may just go ahead and do it to it. There you go. You can see my technique. Again, I'm 
far from a professional. I'm gonna have to actually cut that with a razor blade because of the way that that's laying in there. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna get back to it. So we got it all laid down as best I can. This one's still a little bit bent. There's not much I can do about that. Um, I'm gonna keep applying pressure, moving front to back but that's more or less what the finished result is. So I'm a lot happier with that. And uh, it's not gonna try to fight its way up like it was before. So this is Byron at Easy Wheels. Now you know a little bit more.